Hey again guys. Alright, so today I'm attempting to change my serpentine belt in the 2008 Ultima. Scoured the web and YouTube, couldn't find one specifically for 2008, and so I thought I'd do this video to help you guys out. So, just, um, just for starters, what I did is took my tire off, my passenger side tire, and this is where you're going to access the tensioner and the actual belt itself. It's probably the only way to get it off. So, right here we've got the belt. And I'll zoom in here in a second. You can see how cracked it is. It's got 70,000 miles on it, and it's uh, ready to go. You can hear it. It even kind of squeaks. It's kind of crunchy, and I'm surprised it's not worse than it is. But anyways, I've got a little diagram to show you how this is routed as well to take away the guessing games. Uh, but like I said, all you need is take the wheel off. You don't want to take off this plastic shroud as well. Sorry. That is, uh, it's just held in with some little closure pins or these little little clips. Pop that off, comes off pretty easily. And then right up in here, you can barely see it, I'll zoom in in a second, is the tensioner. You need a 14 millimeter wrench. You're gonna turn it clockwise and that's gonna relieve the stress so you can pull the belt off. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty simple, uh, but uh, let's get into it. So the belt I've already picked up from the local Auto Zone or Auto Advanced Auto Parts, I think. Actually, online I found it on Amazon for about 24 bucks. I paid 35, but I had a gift card, so I'd recommend going to Amazon and, and buying it there. It's made, or it's sold directly from Deco. Um, so this is the item number that you're going to need as well: 5060878. This is the, uh, this is with AC, which in most cars nowadays have AC after 2008, anyways. And then here is going to be the routing for the surfing to build. I just made it out myself. So at the top you have the alternator. It goes down, it goes under a pulley. To the left there's the, uh, I believe it's the water pump. Then you got the tensioner, crankshaft, and the AC. So that's the routing of it. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory because one side has the smooth, one side has the ribs, and so you can't really confuse it. But I want to do that just to make sure that I don't mess things up. All right, all right. So here we are with the tensioner. I've got the 14 millimeter rat or wrench. Now you can purchase or you can rent from your local auto parts a specific wrench made for this. It's like 35 bucks. You take it back, give your money back. But I don't really need a lot of leverage for this one. I don't think you will either. So all you literally do is turn this clockwise, and uh, I'll see how much I can do with the camera. But you can see it starts to. You can see how much that is already loosened up. You can see all the cracks in that belt too, it's pretty bad. And that's all you have to do. So as you hold that tension back, pop the belt off, and uh, then you just unthread it from all the pulleys. So let me try that now. All right, here's the test. Pretty simple. Let that go. I'm just gonna unfeed this belt. It's just falling right off here. It was a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. I'll take you up top here so you can see. It's probably gonna get stuck on the alternator, is my guess. Yeah, it looks like it's coming off the See if you can see down in there. There we are. Let's get this off. Alright, so that came off pretty easily. It was just kind of caught between the uh, bolt of the pulley. It pulled right out of there though. So you can see how bad off this thing was. And uh, the only reason I, be, I even looked at it is because I w turned the car on in the morning and I got a little bit of a squeak, squeal. And so I figured it was time to check it. But yeah, definitely time to change this puppy out. That's pretty bad. And it's really rough. I don't think it's supposed to feel like this. But the last thing I'm going to do before I put this belt on is I'm going to make sure that I got the right belt. Sometimes they don't give you the right belt. And uh, I guess they give you an option with AC and without AC, like I said, and so it could be a lot shorter than it should be. So I'm just going to take these, hold them in to end, and make sure that they are... They look to me like they're the same. Maybe a little... well, probably about the same. Yeah. Minimal discrepancies, if any, but... Should be good. So we're gonna to try to throw this on right now and see how it goes. 
All right, so I'm just going to feed this right down inside on the left of the alternator. If you look down in there, you can see the uh, the pulley, and that's where it was kind of getting hung up on that just just on that nut right there. So it's just a little thinner in that gap, so, but it should go right down in through there. If not, I'm just going to force it a little bit. So start feeding it down. And what I'm going to plan on doing is just putting it around the alternator first, and then try draping it around everything except the tensioner and leaving that till last. So we can adjust the tension. Alright. Let's see if I can grab this sucker. Alright, I'm just going to pull it down here a little bit. Get some of the slack out of it. Keep working this thing down. Sorry if it's not the greatest visual of this process, but all right, so that's a start. Let's work out the kinks and pull the slack out. And remember, it's going to go straight from the alternator down to the AC. And then I'm going to have to reference my little diagram real quick. All right, so straight down under the AC, around the crank, and then around the tensioner. I'm going to go up around there, but I'm going to leave that to the last, like I said. So I'm going to go from the top. I'm going to work on making sure this goes under the pulley and around this water pump. Let's try that. Okay, so I took a little bit more brain power than I originally suspected, but basically what I did, I couldn't drape it over the alternator initially. I had to do that after I you routed it the back there is on the water pump, back in the back. So I had to make sure I reached up inside and routed it around there. The easiest way to do that was just to grab hold of this, just to kind of reach under here blindly. Let me back this camera out. So just reach back through here, route this around, then come over, then come over top, and then go down under the pulley, leaving the tensioner, like I said, for the last. All right, so if you look down in here, you can see possibly, let's see, that I've got everything routed except for the tensioner, and that's going to be my last thing. Yeah, so we got the AC down there. There's a lot of slack there, obviously, because this is the last thing to do. All right, so we're gonna try to do this one. All right, gonna get some a good bite on it. See, so get some good leverage. Keep pulling it back. Well, all right, no harm done. It slipped off though. All right, so now we've got it fully, well, not fully, but let's do a little bit more. All right, that's fully, and it slips right on. Sweet. And then release. Check, make sure everything is routed properly. Looks good. Make sure that the belt is sitting in the grooves properly. Here on the bottom, I had it kind of over the lip a little bit, so you want to make sure you do that before you let go of the tension. All right, so those look good. Last but not least, let's take a look on the top here. Make sure that these look okay. Yep, sitting in the grooves. Goes behind that pulley. You know what? I think that might need to be pushed over just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but if you can see where this pulley goes, or this belt goes down over that pulley, Let's see if it will focus. It's kind of hanging off the edge just a little bit, so I'm going to give it some uh, some slack and push that back on a little bit better. Let's see what I can do here. I'm going to try to do it this way where I can kind of see what's going on. All right, yeah. I've got one hand up on top of that belt 
just slide it to the center of that pulley and now we're good. Alright guys, so it's started, it's running, it seems to be running very smoothly and quietly, better than before, so that was easy enough, just a little bit of a routing issue, but that's just because you can't really get your hand in there, but other than that, it's pretty easy. I'm going to turn on the AC, you can watch that clutch turn on. Pretty neat. I've never seen that. Alrighty, guys. Well, comment, subscribe, rate. I'll be trying to do some more of these videos as I do the upkeep on my 08 Ultima. It's got 70,000 miles. Next, I'll probably do the struts and um, shocks and um, maybe some brakes here soon as well. Alright, have a great day.